What's up, guys? It's Pooch Cake. I'm back and shooting our video. Uh, first and foremost, excuse this disgusting red paper holder coral apparatus. I essentially lost the bet with my mom, and this has to stay in my office until after Christmas. And in the midst of finals, it's just getting in the way. But yeah, so any laptops or anything, I can't really see uh, what I'm filming right now because I'm using a mug as a tripod. But any post it notes, papers, laptops that you see just stray sitting around. It's finals week, and I have a lot of cardboard that I want to show you guys, so we're just going to get it out of the way pretty much from uh, Wednesday night on up until today. It's Sunday. I've been studying with the exception of Friday night that was spent uh, celebrating some asshole's birthday. You guys all know him. He knows who he is, too. Uh, yeah, so Friday night, took a little study break. going to take my second study break now. The rest of my time has been either at work or hitting the books. Already took one final, got an A on it. One down, four to go, one tomorrow, two Thursday, and then I'm done until the middle of January. All right, enough rambling about my life. Let's show you guys some pickups. First, have a care package from a good buddy of mine, John, sent me a bunch of base to send out with uh, my 91 Donruss set uh, TTMs, as well as four signed cards, all autographs I did not have either. First one being Phil Gardner. Second one being ex-Yankee. Really liked him, actually, as a pitcher. He was very clutch when we needed him. Shane Green. I'm noticing the lighting is actually kind of bad. Let's see if this helps. It does. Okay, Shane Green. Third one being really nice, an autograph I didn't have, a Hall of Famer, uh, Marty Brenneman. Inscribed Hall of Fame 2000. And the fourth and final one being a Mark Lowe signed tops card. All right, next, I uh, grabbed a lot off of somebody in the Facebook group. Uh, these cards are, I think, $2.50 each. You had to buy a minimum of four. I grabbed five just because there were five that I liked and figured for two fifty dollars each, you couldn't beat it. So just showing them in no particular order. First, out of 2014 Inception, a Colin Moran jersey autograph. Second card being the only uncertified one, but it is certified in a way out of 2000. One SP Legendary Cuts, a Jim Fergosi signed jersey card, uh, passed away a couple years ago, I never had the chance to send him a request, so really happy to get that for $2.50. Third one, uh, just an oddball autograph I've been wanting for a while, Sal Bando out of Tribute, high, high uh, obviously high-end product, Bat Auto number to 99, really like that. Another just random one, guy who I've liked for a while now, number 299, at a museum collection, a double jersey autograph. I mean, these mid to high end products, if I'm getting them for $2.50 each, I'm going to grab them. Avisail Garcia, double jersey, uh, I can't speak, dual jersey autograph. Kind of like his signature, he has a lot going on in there too. And uh, probably the main reason I bought this lot, uh, young pitcher acquired by the Yankees last year, had a good season before he went hurt, uh, before he went hurt, before he got hurt. Uh, 14 and 2, but the ERA was a little high. Uh, he's still developing, even if he is a little bit older. Uh, throws 100 plus miles an hour. If he learns how to locate that, he's going to be amazing. So, out of triple threads, a triple jersey autograph of Nathan Eovaldi. Really like that. Always nice to add Yankees autographs. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything in a Yankees uniform, at least I don't think yet. And lastly, a very nice TTM coming in. Don't, I did not even remember sending this one out, nor do I remember where I sent it to. Looked in the uh, database. I sent it last December. This took 349 days to come. Sent this before he was anybody when he was just a first-round pick. But nonetheless, Kyle Schwarber signed three cards for me, including a Bowman Draft paper, a Bowman Draft Chrome, which bubbled up despite the fact I prepped it, but it's all right. I'll take it for, uh, in theory, 33 cents since the request cost me a dollar. And a Bowman Draft dual card of him and Jake Stennett. This one probably came out the best signature-wise. But nonetheless, three awesome Kyle Schwarber autographs. Considering his certified stuff is really up there, this was the only outlet that I would have to get him, and I'm really happy I do. Would have been nice if the set card was there when I sent it a year ago, but considering the set only came out, what, two months ago? That's not going to happen. Might resend, see what happens. But young guy, lots of power. If the Cubs can find him a position and he plays in that lineup, I can't see why he's gonna why he wouldn't be a 40, 45 home run a year guy, 100, 120 RBIs. He just has pure talent at the plate, and he's still young as anything just out of college. So 
Have him in my keeper league. Really, he's a candidate for the last keeper spot amongst three other people. So we'll see what happens. All right, that's all I got for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I've got to go back to studying, but tomorrow after my first final, in between the little two-day layoff, I think I might have a Bowman draft break for you guys. All right, so that's all I got for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.